Hello, good morning from the Kansas City area. My name is Jeremiah Nichol. I'm the music instructor at Pleasant Ridge Elementary. Today I'm uh, testing out some software for the first time with my class as a real-time uh, experiment with something called Deck Toys, D-E-C-K dot toys. The inventor is Boon Jin. He's also the creator of the smoothboard system. So if any of you teachers have ever lacked a smart board in your classroom, uh, the smoothboard has been really an innovative solution for me to have a smart board at very little cost using Nintendo Wii controllers. The same uh, team of people led by Boon Jin has created a new system uh, called Deck Toys, and basically it's a it's basically like a board game. And the students on an iPad or any device, internet connected device, can navigate through a series of steps on a deck. And I've created a deck here called Music Terms and Instruments. In real time, as a teacher, I can see where the kids are on the path to the end here. And today, we are dealing with music terminology and music instruments. So uh, they're really getting into it for the first time, and it's a self-led thing. They have the ability uh, to uh, nudge the teacher. I can give real-time responses. I can give thumbs up, thumbs down. I can I can do some extra things where if it looks like the students are struggling with a certain step along the deck, uh, that I can bring up a list of terms that I've already pre-populated and pop in a game. Um, you could do instant response, kind of like a, a class um, response system, and it's a lot of the uh, a lot of the data is is uh, tagged into the Google uh, student address. So if your school system has uh, Google Classroom set up and whatnot, it kind of snaps into that. Although today we're just experimenting with the guest side. Uh, the next step of this for me as a teacher will be to how to pull data out of it so I can use it in the grade book. But for right now, uh, it's been pretty, pretty incredible uh, building everything. It's pretty easy to do. You can add all kinds of content such as YouTube videos. Uh, you can paste in word lists. There's just a variety of different things that you can do. So we've had a lot of fun with it. So right now, somebody's got one of the videos questions going on. Yeah, right there. So to build these questions, I can literally use a link off of YouTube. And so he's going to decide on this particular question, what is the instrument that she is playing? Okay. And it'll tell them, it could, you could set it up to where it'll reveal the answer uh, only to the teacher. You could set it up to where it'll reveal the answer to them. I mean, it's incredible. Once you get a single word list in there, there's about 12 different things you can do with that word list. And then you can pop it out on the deck as a placeholder for the kids to navigate to. And so in real time, I could see where they are, right? Mine's still loading. Mine's still loading. <laughs> All right, so we're definitely testing about 25 iPads on our one wireless node on this end of the building. And so far, it's been pretty good. We took a little bit of time to get people logged in. But anyway, cheers uh, from the Kansas City area. Uh, put some comments down below if you have any questions. I'll try to help you out the best I can. I've been kind of talking with Boon Jin and the team over in Singapore, and I think they got a really good thing going. If you want to join the beta test, as a teacher, you can do that. Go to deck.toys. That's all you type in, and then you can sign in and uh, ask for uh, a chance to be a part of the beta test program. What's up? It asks what it is. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so the title was already in that one. All right, so three points for you. All right, cheers. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi there. So I finished out doing another uh deck toys uh, with the other fifth grade class that I had. The previous fifth grade class, I was kind of talking about how it worked. With this fifth grade class that I have here, I'm going to ask them a few questions and hopefully give the larger community a chance to uh, listen to them. Uh, you know, all of the developers need to hear from the kids, not just the teachers. So I just by show of hands, how many of you guys in here enjoyed using that today, even as it was, all right? That's a vast majority. Very good. And so could you see uh, something like this being used, you know, once a week in your classroom as kind of a way to help you learn 
uh, data sets out of out of the textbook. So, for instance, if you're doing spelling word lists and stuff like that, could you see how deck toys would be kind of fun to do some quick draw stuff and some cross or not crossword, but word word searches? Show of hands on that. All right. Do any of you have any opinions that you'd like to share with the developers in Singapore about things that you liked or things that you didn't like? John? Well, I didn't like about the puzzles when someone gets one, it shows up on everybody else's screen. Okay, so, and that's that's something I believe that we can address in uh, just the setup of the deck itself, to where the puzzles won't be revealed who got it right first or whatever it just it showed a list is that right it showed a list of people on your screen okay just put on the word search oh on the word search okay any other ideas we we only really touched on about mm, oh probably 20 percent of the total tools in there there's other stuff i can show you as well what do you say josie i don't like how the puzzles restarted yeah okay the puzzles restarted like if you went back or, like if, when you do the word search and it went back to it, it was got like gone. Oh, okay. Okay, so that was the instant response thing that I activated in the deck, and I knew that would happen. So, But I wanted to see that it could push out. So what I did was I, I switched mode from a, a student-led mode to teacher-led mode and, and engaged a new activity with the word search, and it reset the project that they were working on. I think, Lane, that was the same thing that happened to you, right? Yeah, so, all right. Very good. Um, anything else? How about like navigating? Was navigating it pretty easy once you got it, the hang of it? Did it come pretty quick? Yeah. yeah. All right. So it's a pretty intuitive process, it seems. Um, you know, students today are in a world of, of forward arrows and X's and check marks and everything when they're navigating all the different apps that are out there. So it appears that the layout of Deck Toys is pretty self explanatory as long as the teacher, this guy, knows how to set up all the individual activities in a way that keeps it that way. So, all right. Well, thank you, Mr. Boone, Jen, and the team for, from Deck Toys. And uh, hopefully this is some good uh, stuff for you to take back uh, to the lab and review. All right. Everybody say bye-bye.